Oh man, yo. Okay, so so you know, I was going to ask you when did you transition from being a DJ to being an MC? But before I even go there, you 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 your partner in crime, Low Bo. How did yes, y'all Oh, man, 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 we've been knowing each other since we were like Five, six years old, played baseball together at Gresham Park. You know what I'm talking about? Um, his, um, his, we grew up in the same neighborhood. My grandmama stayed in the neighborhood that he, that his mom and them stayed in. And so I was always over there. I uh, went to the same elementary school. It was an elementary school that was in the neighborhood called Canby Lane. Crazy story about that. I seen an interview with Jacquees, and Jacquees was talking about how he started with the singing at his elementary school. He said the elementary school was in his neighborhood. I said, I had an elementary school in my neighborhood, Cal Campbell Lane. He goes, and the school was called Campbell Lane. I said, wow. Y'all quiz went this? to the same elementary school as you? Yeah, and he went to my high school, Towers High School. Ain't that something? Yeah, small No, it was work. years later, but still, that's like, wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, small work. But and it just show how much talent came out of Atlanta, man. Yeah, like, but me and Bo been knowing each other since five, six, grew up all through elementary, but then we split ways in high school. He went mm -hmm. to Columbia and Matt now playing football. I went to Towers High School, but we were still kicking it and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know, in the evening and stuff like that, but we really got tighter after high school because mm -hmm. he, um, he went to Alabama a and for football on the football scholarship for two years. And then he came home and I was DJing. I was still DJing and, um, DJ and I was writing too. See, that's how I started. I was writing. Um, I'm just gonna tell you a story. It's a good story. My mama house, the garage is where I was DJing at. You may come over there any day. It may be 20, 30 people just in the garage doing what we do, you know, smoking, drinking, playing cards, uh, playing the video game, techno bowl. And I'm in that DJing, making tapes and stuff, you know. It's tape days, it ain't CD, making tapes, you know. And um we do that to about four, five in the morning. Everybody leave. My mom and them going to work. Everybody don't left. I can't sleep. So I would write. I always wanted to be a comedian. So I would, I want, I would write, but I couldn't write the jokes, but I would write the music to make it funny. I would write lyrics, like funny lyrics. So mm -hmm. that's how I came up with who you with. Uh shout a freak a little some. A lot of that stuff, get crunk, a lot of stuff, man. Um that I was just writing and jotting down and just writing and writing and writing. Never knowing it was going to come to fruition. You know what I'm saying? It was back in like 93, 94, and I'm doing that. You know what I'm saying? I've been DJing since 86. So 93, 94, I'm just writing at night when everybody go, go home because I can't sleep. And I would just start writing, writing, and writing, not knowing I'm writing raps, really. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it, and Bo come home. He go with me one time to help uh, help me carry my records for a party one time. And he seen it. He said, "I ain't going back to school. I ain't going back to school. I'm, I'm, I'm hey man, I'm gonna stay here. Whatever you need, I'm gonna stay here." And then he did go back, but only thing about it, they 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 told him one price, and then when we got down there, it was like double the price. He was like, mm -hmm. "Yep, that's my that's my cue right there. I ain't going back. I'm." Hey, I'll ride with you, whatever you want to do. And that went on. And from there, uh, play a poncho. I know, I know you got these questions. I'm going to look forward for no, it, but no, it's, go all, ahead, go it's ahead. all in the same story, you know. Play a poncho is like our, our brother, you know what I'm saying? So Poncho, play a poncho, if y'all don't know, that's um what's up, what's up, what's up, yep. what's up, what's up, what's up, lady. You know what I'm saying? He was on so so deaf and I used to go up to So So Death with Player Puncher a lot because I always wanted to be on the street team for So So Death. So I was like, this is my way in. But as going up there, I got cool with Jermaine. I got cool with um, I got cool with um, Lil John, not knowing that this the Lil John or whatever because now I got a bad track. Now, while I was DJing, I had two of my partners shot the Bear and Jermaine. We had a group called the DUI Posse. We was the Cater Cartel, but then South Central Cartel came out first. So we changed our name to the DUI Posse. So my dad came home one day, and this one, um, Escape came out. My dad and the two sisters from Escape 
work together at the Fulton County Sheriff Department. So they, my dad, you, you mean uh, yeah, their, yeah, father, my, their father yeah. and your father worked together at the Sheriff Department? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know them. They didn't know me. You know what I'm saying? We know each other now, but um, they, my dad told, they dad, look, my son, they rapping, DJing. So he gave my dad Lil John's car. It had Jonathan Smith on them. So, so dev logo, everything. So my dad brought it and said, hey, when y'all get ready, I'm going to take y'all there. So we, oh man, we got to get our songs. We got to get good. We got to get good. All of a sudden, that didn't happen. They went, they separate ways. And I started hanging with Poncho and Poncho taking me up so, so dev. Not knowing when I'm meeting Lil John that this is the same guy who called I got, Jonathan Schmidt. Not knowing that. So maybe two years go by and, and, Pancho and John, they come over my house. We were ready to go somewhere. So we met at my house. And I was in that DJ. And I said, hold on. I grabbed, because I sat this card there. The card been sitting in the same spot for like two years. I grabbed the card. All the dust that was around it, it was just a clear space when I grabbed the card. I said, hey, man, this your card? And he says, yeah, where you get that from? I said, man, my dad brought me this card back in 93, man. He said, when we get good, he was gonna bring us to you. Now you sitting in my, you sitting right here in my garage. Ain't that something? Man, I said, it's crazy. It's yeah, it's crazy. But man, after that, we went to the club. Right after that, this was going to the gate because Pancho was performing. We go to the gate. This is crazy. We go to the gate, and they play mystical. Here I go. I wrote who you with to that. So when they come on, guys from the neighborhood, they there, they know about the chain and everything. So when they come on, we start singing it. Who you with? Who you with? Who you with? God damn, who you with? That's the original hook. Just imagine 10, 15 people in the corner doing this hook. John looks, he comes over to me and says, hey, whose song is that? I said, well, that's my song. He said, you want to do a record? I'm like, yeah, I want to do a record. You know, I wasn't striving to be a, a rapper or nothing like that. Still say I ain't no rapper, but I can put some balls together for you, you know, and make a song. But um, he called me three days later with this beat. He was like, listen to it, we're going, hi, 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 ding, 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 ding. At first, I was like, what the hell is this? So he was like, do the hook. And I did the hook, and I was like, whoa. And then just did. we just started, I just did the whole song over the phone. And then about a day or two later, we was in the studio recording the song. And that thing you know, who you with was, was birth and he it was out doing his thing and he called me and said hey they want us to do an album you got some more songs i'm like yeah i got a notebook let's go we went in the studio and recorded the songs that i had already did and stuff and came up with some came up with i came up with some new stuff while we was in there you know what i'm saying new hooks and verses and chants and all that type stuff and that's how little johnny side boys was formed What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.